Sir, live outside of Pullman Yards, Bridget, there was actually a protest outside of that rally taking place. Yeah, it turned out to be a pretty big protest, and it was a loud one. You can actually hear it a couple blocks down from where the rally was here. Pro-Palestine protesters gathered here to give President Joe Biden a strong message. And this is all happening as both candidates had some big turnout and some big numbers today at both rallies. As President Biden left Pullman Yards, dozens of his supporters lined up to wave goodbye. Tyler James attended the president's campaign rally, and he feels a lot is at stake this election year. The loss of civil liberties and the threat for the loss of even more, uh, the fact that uh, women's right to contraception is on the ballot. The president and former president Donald Trump held their respective rallies in both Atlanta and Rome. President Biden was sharp. He went into so much about uh, what he wanted to do as far as um, cut taxes and um, give tax credits to people that really need them. From the river to the sea. Outside of Biden's rally was a group of pro-Palestine protesters with a message for the president. And we want to let him know that the people of Atlanta do not support what he's been doing in Palestine, do not support the continued funding of Israel. Let's go Trump for <laughs> 2024. Meanwhile, about a little more than an hour northwest in Rome, President Trump's supporters gathered in numbers for his campaign event. Now we gotta go. There's a great awakening. There are many people who, they don't have to be Republicans, but they're tired of the no return on the vote. Some say they're voting for Trump because they feel he can help create a better economy. The economy was a lot better, secure. Um, the taxes weren't skyrocketing. Um, we had less violence and less war. Despite the difference of political views, the Biden event remained peaceful. And as we all certainly can remember, back in 2020, the state of Georgia was a huge player in that election. And both candidates know that, and that's why they are putting a lot of focus on campaign events right here in the Peach State. We're live from Pullman Yards. Bridget Spencer, Atlanta News First. Bridget, certainly encompassing everything we saw today, all right? And you can rewatch both of today's presidential campaign rallies in Georgia by just visiting atlantanewsfirst.com or downloading the Atlanta News First app. It is free. It's, you can scan the QR code right there on your screen if you would like. And we also have everything that you need to know before you head to the polls for Super Tuesday.